The Syrian army and the National Defense Forces have launched a large-scale security operation in the southern province of Dara. For this purpose, the army recently deployed reinforcements including up to 50 armored vehicles and trucks equipped with weapons in Tel Al-Qdor, Atman, Al-Yadouda, Saru, Sheikh Sa'ad, and Sheikh Maskin. The town of Muzarib and other nearby areas are the reported target of the upcoming operation. Government forces seek to put an end to destructive actions of an illegal armed group led by Mohammed Qasim al subi the former leader of the Free Syrian Army Al-Karam Brigade and ISIS cells operating in the area. Over the past few weeks, dozens of pro-government fighters were killed or injured in Dara province. Most recently, nine police officers were killed in Muzarib. Hayat Tehrir al-Sham and Turkey reportedly reached a tactical agreement to de-escalate the situation in southern Idlib after the recent military incident between the parties near Nirab. The meeting was held at the Turkish military point in Ariha. The terrorist group agreed to withdraw its supporters from the chunk of the M4 highway between Serakib and Ariha and not to attack Russian-Turkish patrols there. In turn, Turkey reportedly agreed not to oppose Hayat Tehrir al-Sham's decision to open a commercial crossing between the militant-held part of Idlib and western Aleppo near the town of Ma'aret el nasan Earlier, Ankara and militant groups directly controlled by it sabotaged this initiative. Turkey seeks to control all the economic and social life in northwestern Syria. Meanwhile, Hayat Tehrir al-Sham sees the commercial activity between Greater Idlib and the rest of Syria as an important source of income through various fees and trafficking of goods. The cooperation between Ankara and the Al-Qaeda-linked terrorists allowed them to avoid a new round of escalation and prevent the resumption of Russian airstrikes and the Syrian army advance in the area, at least for now. The Turkish army and the Russian military police held two extended joint patrols along the M4 highway on May 5th and May 7th. The Russian military police for the first time reached the eastern entrance to Ariha. Previously, all the joint Russian-Turkish patrols were conducted in a much smaller area between the west of Serakib and the east of Nairab. Tactically, both Ankara and Hayat Tehrir al-Sham are interested in preventing the resumption of anti-terrorist operations in Idlib. However, they have serious strategic contradictions. Turkey seeks to establish full control over the entire part of northwestern Syria not controlled by the Damascus government and to turn it into its own protectorate or even directly annex this territory. At the same time, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham is working to defend its relative independence from Turkey and to turn the area of Idlib into its own ISIS-style caliphate. This creates conditions for further tensions between the sides that may lead to military hostilities. Despite the Turkish success in finding understanding with Al-Qaeda, the situation in southeastern Idlib still remains complicated. Late on May 7th, Turkish-backed militants targeted a position of the Free Syrian Army near Al-Buraj with anti-tank guided missiles injuring up to 10 soldiers. Pro-militant sources also claimed that a firefight erupted between Turkish proxies and Syrian troops east of Aris. On May 5th, the Syrian army destroyed two bulldozers operated by the Turkish military in the same area. The Homs Derazor Desert is one more source of instability. On May 7th, ISIS attacked a network of army checkpoints between Al Shola and Al Sakna. The assault started with the explosion of a vehicle borne improvised explosive device. Then, over a dozen terrorists attacked army positions. They retreated after several hours of clashes. Up to 15 Syrian soldiers were reportedly killed or injured in the clashes. Pro-government sources claim that nine ISIS members were eliminated. This was the third large attack on Syrian army positions in the desert area within a month. However, the complicated situation in Dara province and on the front line in southern Idlib does not allow the Damascus government to allocate the resources needed to carry out regular security operations that would contain the growing ISIS threat in the desert.